The president of the Nigerian Medical Association, Professor Bala Audu, has called on the government to provide better funding for hospitals through low interest loans for modern equipment. He emphasized that this would enable facilities to treat patients to international standards, making Nigeria a hub for medical tourism and reversing the trend of citizens traveling overseas for healthcare. Now, Professor Audu made this appeal during a discussion with the Chief Medical Director of Alliance Hospital Goriki, Dr. Christopher Otabo, on potential partnerships to improve healthcare delivery in Nigeria. Addressing the press, Aldo stated that NEMA will continue to partner with private providers to advance standards and assess across the country. Yes, with regards to Alliance Hospital, we recognize their high skills, particularly in the area of orthopedic surgery, but it's not limited to orthopedic surgery. They also are into other highly specialized areas. What we have found is that there is a need for the government to come in in such a way that adequate funding at a reasonable interest rate that should not exceed one digit be provided for them to obtain state-of-the-art hospitals that have the latest diagnostic equipment as well as equipment that is critical for modern treatment as well as to have a robust well, highly skilled professionals who will deliver this quality care in such a way that nigeria becomes a hub of medical tourism where patients from other parts of the world will actually be trooping to nigeria to seek for health care and thereby reversing the current situation where it is Nigerians who are trooping out of this country to other countries to seek for medical care. I think Nigerians should be able to know that there are many health facilities in this country that offer high-level, well-specialized, patient-centered, high-quality care that they can actually access and it's a lot cheaper, it's more comfortable, it's more um, culturally acceptable for them rather than going out of this country. Well, to help boost Nigerians' health care capacity, Dr. Cristobal Tabo reviewed plans to establish Nigerians' first specialized medical university within the next couple of years. Medical tourism was... was uh, one of the things that we discussed and um, you see when someone is already doing something it, um, it's wise to also you know hear from such and, and i told him some of the things that we did and how we were able to overcome uh, some bottlenecks for us to get to where we are and he bought into some of those things and we also look we also discussed about funding uh, for uh, private health institutions and he's going to be engaging with the National Assembly from tomorrow and funding is going to be part of what he will be discussing. So uh, we are looking at government policies that will enhance funding for private hospitals at maximum one, di one, uh, one digit interest rates and over a reasonable period of time and with or without collateral depending on the level of operations of such institutions and in a couple of years we will start uh, our medical university but before then we are looking at uh, training people that we have already started for instance we already got accreditation from the nursing uh, nurses and midwifery council to train nurses that have just graduated for their one-year internship. We are doing that with radiographers. We are also uh, collaborating with some uh, school of nursing to send their students to Alliance Hospital for postings. Well, the discussion also focused on improving Nigerian's healthcare system to reduce the need for medical tourism and prevent Nigerian doctors from seeking further training abroad.